Frail Fragment is a music podcast, but we talk about movies, entertainment, sports, whatever's on our mind, open stream of consciousness, in awareness, and make things, making it a little comical on the side. Frail Fragments, Monster Classics. Yeah, we here. We here, man. We're back, man. Monster Closet episode number 68. 68, eh? Friday, Friday, July 12th, 2024. It's a beautiful day. The weekend's here. Sun is shining, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, I love it. We made it. We made it. Hopefully everybody's uh, going out for the weekend. We see everybody outside today. Loving it. Everybody. Uh, I invited I invited Big D. I don't know what the, what his problem is, but uh, hopefully he fucking he shows up. You know what I mean? Oh well, yeah. How's everything, bro? Word, right? <laughs> How's everything with you, bro? Good. Just had a blessed veal sandwich from uh, from B Mall, as you heard. Yeah, D- Darwin uh, suggested Beemores, and uh, th- that's what it is. Are you surfing the net while you're doing a podcast, bro? What's going on with you, bro? Come on, bro. That's some me, fucking bro. feedback, bro. I'm forwarding the thing to Big D. What are you doing uh, this weekend still? UFC. And all but- we might go out. Where are you going? We might go out. We- might go out tomorrow. I want to do a, I want to do a Montreal trip one weekend with the uh, with the fam, you know. Well, and then still, but that's nice. No, I want to do that day, too. Day trip, then. A day trip is fucking five trip. and a half hours away, dude. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? You leave at five thirty a.m. You get there by what? eight. Eat a little breakfast. By eight? What are you fucking? What are you drag stripping it there, bro? <laughs> gonna lose your fucking license, dude. You're gonna get there if you need a five. You're gonna get there by fucking. You're gonna get there at ten, at the earliest. You heard me? No pit stops. I'm talking about. That's like pissing out in a cup and or out the fucking window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got other people I... in the car, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at least twice. Yeah, maybe I mean, you're gonna price. be dead tired, and then it's another five and a half hours back. You gotta go for the night there at least. I'll bro. go for yeah, I'll go for a weekend then. I'll I'll leave on Sunday. I'll leave on Sunday afternoon. Well, what you do is take Friday off and okay. go up Friday morning. Or if I have and a Friday, stay Friday, off. stay Friday night, Saturday night, and okay. then leave Sunday. That's what you do. But it's gonna uh, cost you money, bro. You know what? A good spot. Well, you can be and be it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's probably the best best option, right? But this so is the time to go to Montreal, dude. Oof. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Have you been there? Yeah, I've been there, what, two years ago? It was cool. It was cool. Oh. I liked it. We're in the middle of downtown, Montreal. right? So where all the junkies stayed and shit? Yeah, I love Montreal. So we were hearing, we were hearing weird noises that those nights. It's not even that dangerous there, bro. It's like... It's not dangerous. No, no, no. I think it's more safe there than here, but people are a little bit more lib- liberated there, so they're a little bit more loud and crazy, you know. And well, they they're drinkers over there, man. Fuck. And That's smokers, like everybody probably. smokes. I saw a fucking baby in a stroller fucking smoking a cigarette, man. Everybody yeah, fucking smokes is. over there. You hear me, that? It's like Europe bro, all over again. Every fucking yeah, person yeah, yeah. smokes. Them. I hear you on that one. That's funny. Know what I mean. That sucks, man. I wanted to ask Darwin a few questions about his fucking day, but I guess he fucking... I don't know. He's a flop show, that mother. I don't know. <laughs> well, hopefully he comes off, comes back on eventually, right? Wow. Well, him and this, Duck, this, right? Well, no. Duck, I didn't invite. You invite him right now. You might be here. Eh? <laughs> Duck? You want me to, you want me to check in with Duck and see what happens? My surprise visit. What well, happened to our guest today? What's going on? I don't know. He left, bro. Fucking took his shit and left. Took his ball and left, bro. That's some can't he just? Bro. Can't he just say, you know what? I don't want to do the podcast. 
And some people don't work like that, right? They just they can't have a fucking confrontation. Can't, save them. can't save they can't them. have like they see that as like a confrontation. It's hard to displease somebody. You know, it's like, hey man, let's do a podcast. Okay. Saying no is to he, doesn't, he doesn't want to do it, right? He doesn't want to do it. So instead of saying no, he says okay and then he doesn't show up. Or maybe I'm just reading into it. Maybe he's talking to some fucking girl or something, and he's like occupied. a ghost. You know? I don't know. There he is. I don't know what the fuck happens. It is what it is, baby. Um, Let's enjoy sure, this beautiful yeah. day. Um. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to a buddy's Jasper Demand. His birthday party is being held at uh, the Monarch Tavern at College in Clinton. So I'm going to go. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's a free show. Blood Opera is playing. They're fucking. Have you heard of the Bangor? I've heard of them. Okay, well, they dress up as like crazy monsters, kind of, and they like eat each other, and there's like blood and shit like that. So. Like a satanic ritual? The blood. No, but it's like an entertain. It's like kind of like. It's entertainment. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood Opera does that something similar to that where they like there's blood in their fucking live performance and like the they dress up. They blood yeah, it's a blood show. Are they like sacrificing splatter. something or somebody? Uh I don't know. I haven't seen them live, but they're playing tomorrow, so I'm gonna check them okay. out. They're friends of a friend of my group uh band. Uh I forget what the, yeah, I'm just for the life of me I can't uh oh, oh the right. night show. Night Show Night is a uh, is a band. Uh, a girl I know, Tia Folds, is in that band. Nice. And cool, cool story about her, bro. She was my instructor at Ryerson, bro. What? Okay. So she was my instructor at Ryerson yeah, for video, for new media under the Image Arts program at Ryerson. She was my instructor. She gave me an A plus. I did a fucking crazy. Fuck like, yeah. I did a bunch of films. I did a bunch of films, but I mean. She was um, really on the page that if you're going for something, it takes energy and effort, and she's going to Fine. applaud that. She doesn't. She. It's not up to her whether she likes it, like really likes it or not. It's like she likes you being in the process, and yeah. like she's very non-judgmental, and but she. Her and I, we, we're we're more dark, right? Like she does a lot of cool films. Tia Folds, you should check her out. She plays the theremin in the band Night Show. She lives out of Hamilton. Guess this girl's story, bro. So she worked at like the office of the uh, radio and television building uh, at the the Rogers Building um, in uh, at Rogers at Ryerson. So Ooh. I mean, I got to know her, and she taught taught told me a, a lot of stories, a lot of cool stories. Um, and she started the zombie walk in Toronto. Oh no! Way. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was she was one of like I would that say five. Pe- I would say five people, but not even five people. I would say she was like one of three people. But let's just keep it at five. So she was one of five hey. people who started the zombie walk, and that started from five people to yeah. thirty thousand people, where they had to shut it down. Now it's no longer happening. Okay, you, but yeah, after that. Good. After that happened, bro, it was crazy. Or, like, right near the end of that, she fucking bought a Cash for Life ticket and won. <laughs> this girl, this girl's probably, like, three or four years older than me. So she's probably, you know, 46, 47. I don't know how old she is. Took a long um, time or what? And, and Tia Fold, she's a beautiful girl. She's really, uh, really cool chick. She's an artist. Awesome. She's a great filmmaker. She's a musician. She's really kind, and she's really um, she's she can be out there too, right? And I and like she's just kind of yeah. she doesn't apologize for who she is, and I and I like it, right? Like she's all over the fucking web. Check her out. Night Chill's a cool band, and I mean, there yeah. So they know all these they know all these bands, Night Chill and fucking Blood Opera. Yeah, there he is, but he's not here. What are you talking about, bro? He's fucked. Yeah, he is. That's a cool story, though. No, but yeah, so I don't know how I got it onto her, but uh, yeah, Blood Opera 
are playing Jasper Demand's 40th birthday at the Monarch Tavern Saturday night for a free show at um, yeah. College in Clinton. Starts at 7 o'clock at night, right across the street from Batondo's Pizza. Batondo's. So you can have a cu couple of beers, and if you feel a little bit tipsy, you could dry up some of that fucking alcohol with some awesome Easy. junk food fucking pizza, bruh. And that's what it's oh, all about, man. And Batondo's is the spot for that, bro. You heard me now? From the Panzerati, yeah? It's cash only, bro. Remember that, you that's heard true. me? That's true. Yeah. Oh, all these people, that's the only way they can survive and fucking stay afloat, bro. It's expensive Plastic, out there, man. But that place has been around for a, for a minute still, man. You gotta love I found those out places, about man. that place. I found out about that place when I, like, and I would well, say... Yeah. 2000 and fucking 14 10 years ago oh, wow. i didn't know about that, that place. Long. i didn't know about that fucking place really it's i knew about it. yeah exactly Crazy. i found out about the Cal the original california like i would say 20 years ago right but i mean yeah 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 and you didn't know but right, right, right up the street no No, bro, but now I know that area well. That's a fucking sick area to live in Toronto. That's the best area to live in Toronto. If you're going to live downtown. Yeah. And we're talking you about areas. Well. That's the best, in my opinion, dude, that's the best area we have in Toronto if you want a downtown fucking experience. Um, like College, and Clinton, College and Clinton's pretty awesome because you can walk to Kensington. You could like, you can walk everywhere, dude. You know, you don't need a car unless you're going out of Toronto. The best so food that's in town. Cool. Yeah, it's like a lot of good bars and restaurants, man. Oh, buddy. and uh, yeah, it's just it just has a sense of community, like There's and you're down town. And I, you know why? It's because a lot of Italians are still there, bro. Yeah, why? and there's still and there's still some old uh, like Chinese, because like oh, there's just there's all the there, a lot of the historical houses like are owned by China. A lot of the historical houses in Toronto are owned by Chinese, and, and they River haven't Street, sold right? shit. They haven't sold shit. No, I'm talking about like Kensington Market, and fucking oh, okay. all the houses in like Chinatown, those yeah, old yeah. big houses. Even Dover Court and all those houses. It's like yeah. the people that owned it. Uh, Chinese. A lot of Chinese live there, dude. Really? Like they live really? in houses downtown, and they've just like they're older. They've given it to their children's children, and it's just exactly. like passed down. I don't know. It's crazy. And fucking they're still insane, surviving, dude. living at fucking Spadina and Queen, dude. You know, in a house. The, where the, the fucking builder... What, what, I know. And the builders are just fucking scratching their fucking heads because they've offered these fucks $3 million for their fucking house. And they said no. You know? Yeah. Cool, but no, historical homes shouldn't be torn down, but it's happening, man. Like, there's a church on Bloor, a Bloor and fucking Huron. Um, that was like this old, beautiful fucking church building. Like, beautiful. They destroyed the fucking thing. I think they're putting, like, uh, condos there or something. <coughs> yeah, in front of, uh, yeah, that car park. There used to be a brothel, right? I don't know what the fuck it was, man. What do you look like? What do I look like? A fucking Nostradamus motherfucker, bro? Stop asking me that shit, man. Um, yeah, I'm on peace, huh? <laughs> but, uh, no, and then Dufferin and fucking another one, Dufferin and Bluer, that, those schools there, remember those schools that they fucking ripped out of the ground? And they're putting a, like a fucking huge city of condos now at Dufferin and fucking Bluer. But, yo, those schools, that Bloor Collegiate School, and there was another one there. They they yeah. destroyed all the fucking trees, dude. <laughs> like yeah, usually they, you know, fucking... usually they 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 you see them. They put a box around the tree, right? If it's a nice tree, even if it's not a nice tree, they put a wooden box around the tree, and they have a fucking sign that they have to preserve it and take care of the tree, dude. Right. They were cutting down fucking like historic fucking trees to make that fucking those business plans and no one was saying shit there was a fucking wood carving carver chopper on the fucking yeah. blur taking up traffic fucking for one week right? sanding down fucking huge fucking trees that were there Wild for like life, 150 man. years bro 
this these guys are fucked trust me like they, and and uh yeah it's bad ford it's is bad is saying nowadays. he's doing corrupt deals with fucking uh with the city right the, no with the uh what's it called the, the, the green belt the green belt he's saying like he was making deals with builders that they could build in the green belt what the fuck is that all about bro yeah. can't build there yeah, that's park cool, life bro. Bro. i know you can't yeah, be fucking guy. around with nature Oh, everybody's fucking around with nature. They want to get the paper, bruh. I don't know. Where do you get them from? Trees, right? Fuck. Get them from trees and get air from trees. trees. You know me? what? Oh. Fucking trees. Yeah, they so breathe out and we breathe in their air. And we exactly. breathe out and they breathe in our air. And when we die, yeah. they eat us. Yeah, you know? we're part they of the They eat our bodies. Body. Yeah, we, we, and we live on through fucking plants. And well, mushrooms, and yeah. Mushrooms distribute that 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 um, nutrients. So mushrooms is the mushroom. kind of yeah, you could. That's crazy, right? That'd be insane. We're eating people. <laughs> you are a magic mushroom, Ace. You are when you think about it. You're everything. Well, I was, yeah, when in you, a dream. After yeah. you die, after you die, right? Is Your body you goes into the fucking ground, bro. What are you talking about, bro? What if you want to get burnt? I know. I don't know about that. Like, do ashes I mean? do anything? I don't think ashes do anything. Ocean. I don't think that's the. Yeah, I don't think that's the the way to do it. But I mean, yeah, it's the cheap way. You mean to get out of here? Yeah, I, I'd uh, rather be buried and let, let fucking worms and fucking everything let eat take my over. body. Like let bugs and worms and just the ecosystem take my body and reuse it. That's but what nature I want. take its place, yeah. That, that's that's what I feel is the right thing to do. But I mean, people right. now that I think about it, they were no, burned sorry. throughout fucking history, bro. Oh yeah. So burning burning has always been around, right? Like burn a fucking body and genocide, you know? yeah. Yeah, no, but you ever see like when they they like in fucking the empire times where the fucking yeah got medieval times where the guy's fucking buried off the sea and he's in like that wooden thing and then the guy fires the arrow and fucking lets lights the thing on fire and it yeah. fucking burns him up in the ocean yeah yeah well oh, yeah up. they've been doing it man We're just talking, bro. We're th we're throwing we're throwing shit at the wall. We're seeing what sticks. Darwin there, didn't come. No, oh, that's a shame. But maybe we can do a. Maybe I can get him on an episode later. Who knows? But uh, Ace, have a good weekend, man. Thanks for checking in with me. Um, Thank yeah, you. I'm, Thank um, you, Lenny. I'm doing that Saturday, and then Sunday yes, it's gonna be like something to do like with this. I don't know yet, man. I gotta like. I got to convene the with yeah. the wife. Convene yeah, with the know. wife. There you go. Uh, yeah. And we'll see what see what they're going. Okay. But uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll touch base with you next week. Have a good one. This is the Monster we'll Closet, that. episode 68, Friday, July 12th, 2024. We are here. Uh, we had a good week, man. We did a lot of fucking podcasts this week. We're at 68 week. already. Success. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to hop on tomorrow, too, uh, you know. But yeah. uh, if I can, I can't. You know, much respect. Frailfragment.com, Spotify, uh, Monster Closet. I will for sure. Link me. And uh, take care, guys. Take care. Bye. Peace. Peace. Frail Fragments, Monster Closet.